Call Materia Toure, five minutes in reply. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Let me first thank Hone Harawera and the Māori Party for drafting this bill and for bringing it to the House, having the good luck to have it drawn out of the ballot. Hone Harawera has been a fierce, passionate advocate for our kids, and this bill was at one example of that work, and I want to thank him for allowing me to take it over after the last election. Uh, I note that he nominated the Māori Affairs Select Committee to uh, receive this bill should it pass its first reading. We remain ever hopeful. Second, sir, I want to acknowledge the extensive coalition of NGOs who are supporting this bill. There is a coalition of 30-odd uh, organisations, including uh, UNICEF, uh, Plunkett, a whole range, who have been working very hard to both increase public awareness of the extent of hunger in our schools, uh, but also working with National to do their best to encourage them to support the bill to select committee. The groups have understood the need to have a parliamentary conversation about feeding kids in school, because they work with the consequences of hunger in children every day. And can I also thank all of the members of this House who have spoken in support of the bill during this first reading, and to all of those parties who will be supporting it tonight. It was very much appreciated. I do remain so deeply disappointed in National that they will not support it to select committee. It would cause the National Party no harm to support this bill at its first reading, and in fact only good to support the community who want to have this conversation. It's not just the Greens or other parties on the opposition. The community want to have a conversation about the extent of hunger in our kids in schools and what we should do about it. We have asked National repeatedly to only commit at least to the first reading so that the parliamentarians, we can hear from schools, we can hear from communities, from families, uh, from teachers, about the scale of the problem and what the options are for solutions. I have said over and over that we are not wedded to any particular solution and we are open to changes to the bill and even withdrawal of the bill should there either be a conversation or a budget bid to feed the kids in schools. I mean, we put a letter to Bill English just a few weeks ago suggesting um, that we would withdraw the bill if we could get some certainty about it. We heard nothing back. There are no downsides for National in supporting this bill to first reading. It would have shown the community that they were listening to the evidence that the community has and shown that they were capable, National would be capable of putting aside ideology in favour of kids who are hungry. There is a real problem. A few years ago, Kids Can said at their schools showed 9% of the kids in the schools they worked with were hungry at, at lunchtime and breakfast. Then last year they said it was 15%. The problem has grown now to 23%. It is getting worse. So the measures we have in place are not helping. So in the first reading of this bill, Hone Harawera said, I know the bill is not perfect. I hear the corridor about feeding the kids being a parent's responsibility, but the truth is that a lot of people have been so poor for so long that they struggle to make the right choices and often end up making the wrong ones. And all the while, our kids go hungry. He said, I've heard a lot about increasing employment opportunities, upgrading housing, improving access to health care, and developing better educational pathways. And all of that is necessary and good, but it takes a long time to happen, and all the while, our kids go hungry. So that is the fundamental point. Kids are going hungry. Thousands and thousands of them. And this chamber this afternoon has the power to change that. By voting for the bill, we declare that children are the most important priority, our most important constituency. We declare we will put aside our political enmities and focus on the needs of kids. We declare that the whole point of us being in this debating chamber is to make life for our children better. Not a single one of us and our own communities would stand in front of a hungry child and refuse to give them food. Not a single one of us would do that. Why would we do that when there are 20 children, or 40 children, or when there's 59 of us standing in front of those kids? Not one of us individually would say no to a hungry child. Why would we do say no collectively?
It makes no sense, sir. So many times I've heard National argue that hungry children are being failed by someone else, parents, teachers. Tonight, hungry children are being Order. failed by 59 National expired. MPs who are Order. saying no Order. to the faces of... Order.